Wheel. I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to show you. This is a big shout out to Tom Kitwood, Clintswood. I'm sorry, I don't. I, yeah, <laughs> names are like deck of cards. You throw them up, and you catch one, and hope you get the right name. But this is uh, a shout out to Tom for his 300 subscribers. And I want to show Tom what I'm looking for, what I like to see him make. So I'm going to send a couple items. I want to make this video, show you the video, and you just say, hey, send me that equipment, and I'll make it from that. If not, you can, Tom, go to the store and look at, this is what I want. But I want where, I want this. I'm not worried about these pipes. I want this remade with stronger fiber. I'm gonna send you this. Then I hope you can get a good glance of these things at the store. I want it where it holds four sticks. And I want you to make them heavy duty. See in here? It's like heavy duty, thick lion. <coughs> but you notice it's ripping here. So you gotta make it where it's gonna hold a lot of weight and I want to wear holds four sticks because I want to be out in the woods and I need a bush chair I can just grab this the cloth pull it out my bag make my sticks tie it together and four a little bundle open it up and put the sleeves on now if you need this I'll be happy to take all these apart and send it to you looks like I can't I have to like bust the damn Thing apart so you have a good glance what I'm looking for the second item I need for you to make for me Tom I really appreciate all this I'm gonna send you this big tarp uh, <coughs> this is this some fabric <coughs> I see if you can make me something like this where I could take I cut my own wood and I'll make this little, this little thing here. See how how it's going on the sticks, but I want it where it cuffs in. Where see how it cuffs in here, and it's real heavy duty. Where it cuffs in and all the way down, my sticks can slide through. And this is the second bush chair I want you to build for me. I want you to make how many you can make, uh, at least three of each, because I want to give one to Donnie. If you whatever you want to use after the fabric, you can keep or whatever you like to do with the fabric after you're done I don't know if this fabric is good for that but it looks like it's heavy duty so I'm gonna send you that I'm, I don't want to take these chairs apart unless I really have to but uh, see make a, a back black part with sleeves oh yeah it was in one more item I want you to make for me don't worry about this part. I was just worried about the back part. Cause when you when you get older and you uh, sit down, you want that back support. This is why I want you to make another a, a, a new type of bush chair for me. And this is the second type of bush chair with a backing. And I want you to make one more item. Uh, uh, give me a second. I'm trying to think how that's gonna look. Let's we'll see. Um, it's like the last item I'm looking for has to be like a um, damn it, like a uh, damn it. I'm trying to think, like a hammock, a ham hock, where you take two. Damn it, my hat. <laughs> You take and you make uh, at least I'm trying to make a bed the uh, sheeting has to be about this big basically for your body and I need two sleeves made on both sides like a bush hammock uh, like a cot that's what I'm looking for a cot I just want, I don't want the poles I just want the, the fabric basically it'd be like this Let's say this is about five feet and on this side and on this side where you can put two long sticks and I can make a cot out of it. So I'm trying to make a lightweight bag so I have everything 
I need my bush chair, my table. I can make this a table if I wanted to instead of a chair and make it four legs. And the cot, just make it where it's strong to hold two sticks with supports on both sides. You, you should know how I make a cot. So that's three items I'd like you to make for me. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you need anything, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll trade of gifts uh, or anything out of my boxes, please let me know. But that's the three items I really need like you to make. And one more item, give me a second. And this is the last item I, I want you to make. The reason why I want it camouflage, because I want all my stuff to be matched with camouflage. And this is my other bush chair. My friend Andrew made this. I got like three of these. This is one of my bush chairs. You, you see how, you know how I sew. I, I, I'm not gonna tell you how to sew, Tom. But basically I wanna make it where I can put a rope through here. And down here, I could put a stick. Now I got a couple of these and I was gonna give Donnie one, but knowing Donnie, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing from you. <laughs> so, <laughs> he don't want nothing free. I can't, I don't blame him. Some people are like that. I can't blame Donnie for not accepting a gift or anybody accepting a gift. But this is the uh, couple items I want you to make for me, Don, uh, Tom. I hope you, oh, and the machete case. If you don't mind, I'm asking for a lot. You see that already, I'm asking you for a lot. So I'll, I'll, I'll rather send you something for a change. If you don't want nothing, that's fine. But anything you do would be appreciated. I'll put it on my show that you have made this for me. You can make your small, uh, bushcraft uh, channel and make some make some money. It's on you. I, I, I appreciate if any donations or any work you do. If you want something in trade, please let me know now in, in the description below. Hey, I want this out that box called the mats, and I need a mat. I'd be happy to give you send you the mat. Just look into my unboxing my boxes and find something that you might like, and I'll send it to you too. For you, that'd be my gift to you, uh, Tom. So here's the fabric. I might have to give you two, because that's a lot of stuff I'm axing. But you think this is a lot of material? I got another one, more uh, brighter camo. Let me know, and I'll send it too. I got other camouflage colors. If you want me to send that too, I'll send that too. If you said, look, Bo, uh, Ranger, I need some more fabric. I think that might not be enough. And plus I might want that fabric to make my own. I'll be happy to send it. And one more thing I'm asking you to make for me is on your giveaway for your subscribers, and congratulations for your 300 subscribers, if you can make me a couple uh pouches for me. Two sizes, just like you just made for the ones for your gifts, I'll be happy. I'm so happy that you allowed me, well, let me say, rephrase that. This like just kicking in. I'm, I want to say thank you, Tom, for doing this for me. If you need anything from my boxes of boxes, please let me know, and I'll send it to you. Uh, number, I'm looking for the bush chair like this, where if there's four slots, make sure it's sleeves. Like if, throw the sleeves in so I can sit in this chair or make it a table. I want four, not three, because three, it's not doing me. Two sleeves or sheaves for the machete and the two saws, the two different saws. If you want any of this other felt I have, look at my box of unboxes, you see the other color felt. One bush chair, camouflage. And I'm going to give the blue one to Donnie because i got a couple blue ones. And Donnie has all kinds of colors. He's not one color. I'm trying to get all camo and everything one color. Be organized. That's why I'm doing it. 
And if you can make one whole sheet, an L, where sleeves can go in, where I can saw my own legs for the, the, the chairs you're gonna make for me. And like always, I appreciate it, uh, Tom, and congratulations to your 300 subscribers. And this is also a shout out. If you have not subscribed to Tom below, please subscribe to him now. He's pretty funny, and I wanna let you know, there's a couple of other funny people out there. The Arm Rogue is also funny. Manland is also funny as hell. I love you, Manland, and thank you for the challenge. Challenge is gonna be up in a few minutes. And that's it. I just wanna say thank you, Tom. Thank you, Rogue, the Arm Rogue. Oh yeah, Flint and Steel. I wanna say thank you. I seen something, your kind heart was so kind that I didn't see you before until I saw that one video where you gave one of your giveaways to one of your subscribers. And that like put up, you know, it was heartbreaking in my book. But I appreciate that. That was kind of you what you have done for, the, for that, for um, Paul, Paul, uh, South Paul's uh, account. So, that's such a big shit out. Shit out. Listen to me, just like you. Shout out to the Flint and Steel, Tom, Clisswood, Clickwood. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Oh yeah, another shout out for Don Pallarini for his 300 subscribers. I just want to say congratulations to Don Oso for his 300 subscribers. And my favorite, well, I want to go ahead and say my favorite people I like to watch, Manland, Tom, and the Arm Rogue. <laughs> Y'all funny. I enjoy your videos. Thank you for putting them out and show me what you have to show to others. Thank you. And thank you for all my subscribers. I have 91 now. When I reach 100, I'm giving a big gift. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to head in this video because this video is for you, Tom. And I appreciate it. So let me know what I need to send to you down below. Um, and I'll send you the measurements for my machete. <clears throat> felt, I think you might need more felt, but that's not thick for the machete. But you can make the chairs and whatever is left if you need more and you want to send more to other people like a donation for me to you to to you to them please let me know i'd be happy to send the rest of this cloth because you're the only one can sew in my book well they got other stories but uh i don't know them like you tom so tom there's a shout out for you congratulations to your 300 subscribers and i'll read your cookie sign it out whoa well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to show you, this is a big shout out to Tom Kitwood, Clintswood, I'm sorry, I don't, I, 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 names are like deck of cards, you throw them up and you catch one and hope you get the right name. But this is a, a shout out to Tom for his 300 subscribers, and I want to show Tom what I'm looking for, what I like to see him make. So I'm going to send a couple items, I'm going to make this video, show you the video, and you just say, hey, send me that equipment and I'll make it from that. If not, you can, Tom, go to the store and look at, this is what I want. But I want where, I want this. I'm not worried about these pipes. I want this remade with stronger fiber. I'm gonna send you this. Then I hope you can get a good glance of these things at the store. I want it where it holds four sticks. And I want you to make them heavy duty, see in here? It's like heavy duty, thick lion. <coughs> but you notice it's ripping here, so you gotta make it where it's gonna hold a lot of weight. And I want where it holds four sticks, because I wanna be, 
out in the woods and I don't need a bush chair, I can just grab this, the cloth, pull it out my bag, make my sticks, tie it together in a, full bar, a little bundle, open it up and put the sleeves on. Now, if you need this, I'll be happy to take all these apart and send it to you. It looks like I can't. I have to, like, bust the damn thing apart. So you have a good glimpse what I'm looking for. The second item I need for you to make for me, Tom, I really appreciate all this. I'm going to send you this big tarp, uh, <coughs> this. Is this some fabric? <coughs> I see if you can make me something like this where I could take I cut my own wood and I'll make this little this little thing here see how how it's going on the sticks but I wonder where it cups in where see how it cups in here and it's real heavy duty where it cups in and all the way down my sticks can slide through and this is the second bush chair I want you to build for me I want you to make how many you can make uh, at least three of each because I want to give one to Donnie if you whatever you want to use after the fabric you can keep or whatever you like to do with the fabric after you're done I don't know if this fabric is good for that but it looks like it's heavy duty so I'm gonna send you that I'm, I don't want to take these chairs apart unless I really have to but uh, see make a, a back back part with sleeves oh yeah it was in one more item i want you to make for me don't worry about this part i was just worried about the back part because when you when you get older and you uh sit down you want that back support this is why i want you to make another a, a, a new type of bush chair for me and this is the second type of bush chair for backing and i want you to make one more item uh, uh, give me a second. I'm trying to think how that's going to look. Let's see. Um, it's like the last item I'm looking for has to be like a, um, damn it. Like a, uh, damn it. I'm trying to think. Like a hammock, a ham hock. Where you take two, damn it, a hat. <laughs> you take, and you make, uh, at least, I'm trying to make a bed. The uh, sheeting has to be about this big, basically for your body. And I need two sleeves made on both sides, like a bush hammock. Uh, like a cot, that's what I'm looking for, a cot. I just I don't want the poles. I just want the, the fabric. Basically, it'd be like this. Let's say this is about five feet. And on this side, and on this side, where you can put two long sticks. And I can make a cot out of it. So, I'm trying to make a lightweight bag. So, I have everything I need. My bush chair. My table. I can make this a table if I wanted to, instead of a chair. And... Make it four legs. And the cot, just make it where it's strong to hold two sticks with supports on both sides. You, you should know how I make a cot. So that's three items I'd like you to make for me. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you need anything, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll trade of gifts uh, or anything out of my boxes, please let me know. But that's the three items I really need. Like you to make and one more item give me a second and this is the last item I, I want you to make the reason why I want camouflage because I want all my stuff to be matched with camouflage and this is my other bush chair my friend Andrew made this. I got like three of these. This is one of my bush chairs. You you see how you know how I sew. I, I, I'm not gonna tell you how to sew, Tom. But basically, I want to make it where I can put a rope through here, 
and down here I could put a stick. Now I got a couple of these and I was gonna give Donnie one, but knowing Donnie, I don't want nothing! I want nothing from you! <laughs> so <laughs> he don't want nothing free. I can't I don't blame him. Some people are like that. I can't blame Donnie for not accepting a gift. Or anybody accepting a gift. But this is the uh, couple items I want you to make for me, Don, uh, Tom. I hope you... Oh, and the machete case. If you don't mind, I'm asking for a lot. You see that already. I'm asking you for a lot. So, I'll, I'll, I'll I'd rather send you something for a change. If you don't want nothing, that's fine. But anything you do would be appreciated. I'll put it on my show that you have made this for me. You can make your small... Uh, bushcraft uh, channel and make some make some money. That's all you. I, I, I appreciate if any donations or any work you do. If you want something in trade, please let me know now in, in the description below. Hey, I want this out that box called the mat, and I need a mat. I'd be happy to give send you the mat. Just look into my unboxing my boxes and find something that you might like, and I'll send it to you too. For you, that'd be my gift to you, uh, Tom. So here's the fabric. I might have to give you two, because that's a lot of stuff I'm asking. But you think this is a lot of material? I got another one, more uh, brighter camo. Let me know, and I'll send it to. I got other camouflage colors. If you want me to send that too, I'll send that too. If you said, look, bro, uh, Ranger, I need some more fabric. I think that might not be enough. And plus, I might want that fabric to make my own. I'll be happy to send it. And one more thing I'm asking you to make for me is on your giveaway for your subscribers. Congratulations for your 300 subscribers. If you can make me a couple of bush saw uh, pouches for me. Two sizes, just like you just made for the ones for your gifts. I'll be happy. I'm so happy that you allowed me... Well, let me say, rephrase that. This like she's kicking in. Um, I want to say thank you, Tom, for doing this for me. If you need anything from my boxes of boxes, please let me know, and I'll send it to you. Uh, number, I'm looking for the bush chair like this, where if there's four slots, make sure it's sleeves. Where I can throw the sleeves in so I can sit in this chair or make it a table. I want four, not three, because three not doing me two sleeves or sheaves for the machete and the two saws the two different saws if you want any of this other felt I have look at my box of unboxes you see the other color felt one bush chair camouflage and we'll give the blue one to Donnie because I got a couple blue ones and Donnie has all kinds of colors he's not one color. I'm trying to get all camo and everything one color. Be organized. That's why I'm doing it. And if you can make one whole sheet, an L, where sleeves can go in, where I can saw my own legs for the, the, the chairs you're going to make for me. And like always, I appreciate it, uh, Tom, and congratulations to your 300 subscribers. And this is also a shout out. If you have not subscribed to Tom below, please subscribe to him now. He's pretty funny, and I want to let you know, there's a couple other funny people out there. The Armed Rogue is also funny. Manland is also funny as hell. I love you, Manland, and thank you for the challenge. Challenge is going to be up in a few minutes. And that's it. I just want to say thank you, Tom. Thank you, Rogue, the Arm Rogue. Oh, yeah, Flint and Steel. I want to say thank you. I seen something. Your kind heart was so kind that I didn't see you before until I saw that one video where you gave one of your giveaways to one of your subscribers. And that, like, put up, you know, it was heartbreaking in my book. But I appreciate that. That was kind of you, what you have done for, the, for that, for um, Paul... Paul, uh, self-pause, uh, account. 
So, that's such a big shit out. Shit out. Listen to me, dislike ya! Shout out to the Flint and Steel, Tom, Clisswood, Clickwood. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Oh yeah, another shout out for Don Pollardini for his 300 subscribers. I just want to say congratulations to Don Oso for his 300 subscribers. And my favorite, well, I want to go ahead and say my favorite people I like to watch, Manland, Tom, and the Arm Rogue. <laughs> Y'all funny. I enjoy your videos. Thank you for putting them out and show me what you have to show to others. Thank you. And thank you for all my subscribers. I have 91 now. When I reach 100, I'm giving a big gift. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to head in this video because this video is for you, Tom. And I appreciate it. So let me know what I need to send to you down below. Um, and I'll send you the measurements for my machete. <coughs> felt, I think you might need more felt, but that's not thick for the machete. But you can make the chairs and whatever's left if you need more and you want to send more to other people like a donation for me to you to to you to them please let me know i'd be happy to send the rest of this cloth because you the only one can sew in my book well they got other stories but uh i don't know them like you tom so tom this is a shout out for you congratulations to your 300 subscribers and i'll read your cookie sign it out <laughs> Run, run, run! The monsters killed him!